here on Catfish Corner, which is a bend in the Tweed River just out of Hukai. With Tweed Chai Council, we identified this area of the river that we're standing on here as a serious issue for sediment entrainment into the marine estate. The work was planned after the flood of 2022, where we lost about 50 metres of fully vegetated riparian zone in the reach of the river immediately behind me. This site was prioritised for work so that we could try and start stabilising the river channel and offsetting the risk of more serious riverbank erosion further downstream. The river has taken a major geomorphic shift in condition from being quite stable and quite well aligned to a process where it's leaning towards straightening and actually removal of that inside point bar. The aim of this project was to improve the stability of the riverbanks. The stability and the shape of the river its morphology is really important because it's through that that we end up with some key fish habitat areas. It's important to do this project because it reduces the sediment that goes down and impacts on the marine estate. With this project, the Soil Conservation Service set out to achieve a concept design provided by North Coast Local Land Services. That design involved putting in a lot of timber pins on a big inside bar and some rock revetment to help keep those sediments in place. And in doing so, it maintains the shape of the river in this section and improves habitat complexity and diversity. So the work has involved building a rock revetment several hundred metres long at the toe of the eroded riverbank. The other major component of the project was driving timber pins into the riverbed. They will entrap sediment that gets washed down in future flow events. Essentially it mimics when water would normally pass through a forested area and be slowed down by the roughness contained in that patch of forest. So we're mimicking this natural process and we're trying to align our works with a, with a natural recovery process. We know that vegetation has the means by which to, to slow flows down and promote deposition. We've just done this on a much larger scale. So the benefits of the project will be reducing future erosion in this reach of the river and also in training sediment that is moving down the river during future flow events. This is the Tweed River water supply, so the more sediment stays in the upper part of the catchment, the better. This is a biodiversity hotspot that we're here on right now. Not only that, but it's going to be a real asset for the community. And ultimately, the sediment that we stop here will not be going out to the marine estate. We have amazing marine estate here in the Tweed, and we really want to look after that. We're able to ensure that less sediment comes downstream, smothering important habitats. And so what happens over time is not only do we improve the stability of the riverbank, but we've created additional habitat. It protects the water quality, both for our threatened species, like our platypus and other estuarine species, and for our water supply. So it makes it a really important project to go ahead with. Our team excels in doing this sort of work. They really enjoy it. It's a challenge to them, but at the end of the day, it's great to see such tangible benefits for the environment being rolled out through this program. Being a trusted service provider uh, to tackle such a project, understanding the potential for risk and remaining dynamic in our approach to such a project. Knowing that we're able to tackle projects with these challenges and remaining dynamic is a good stable ground to work from and to build on our skill set that we already have and launch into future projects with similar standards. We use our expertise, our technical know-how and our ability to adapt to whatever the circumstance is and whatever's needed to deliver a best practice solution. This project is a marine estate management strategy project. Most of these projects involve lots of different partners. And all those partners might have different motivations, but it's about addressing the key threats and risks to our marine state. It might be the erosion that's happening here at this site, or it might be other impacts. But by collaborating, working together, state, local government, other specialists, landholders, we can all get a result that improves the environmental, social, cultural, and economic value of our marine estate.